Crazy Will here today, and today we're going to be talking about how to set up an SD card for your Raspberry Pi so you can get an operating system on there and get it working. So stay tuned! Hey, Crazy Will here, and welcome to another episode of Crazy Will's Tech Show. It's Crazy Will. Today, we're going to talk about the Raspberry Pi, and I apologize to anybody that is not into this, this part of tech. There's just... I know there's been a lot of videos, but I'm just trying to get them out there so that way I covered all the bases for setting up a Raspberry Pi. And like I said, if this, if I see a lot of clicks on this video, I'll do more videos like this. I mean, ultimately, it's all up to you guys. The more I see I get clicks, the more videos I do like that. That's why I did so many camera videos when I'm a tech show. Just you guys had a lot of interest in that. Just to be clear before we head over to the computer, this is the SD card that you need. If you're running the old one, which you're probably not, you're probably running the three this is the sd card but this is the many sd card and this is the sd cards that the new raspberry pis take right there that's it it's like a micro sd card so we're gonna flash it my computer will take both of these but i like this this is just a little caddy for the device so after you get your sd card i'm gonna show you which website to go to and what you need to download so that way you can get this started so let's head over to the computer shall we so here we are on the computer and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this website right here uh, it's raspberrypi.org so once you're there what we're gonna go do is downloads okay so what we're gonna download is raspbian and it's right here uh, Noobs is a beginner software. You can pick which one you want to do. It really doesn't matter. This tutorial will show you how to download them both. I download Raspbian. That's usually what I go for. I go with a desktop because I like a desktop. So we're going to download zip file. And we're going to click on that. And we're going to let that download. And it usually takes, uh, I guess, about 5 10 minutes depending on your internet speed. Okay, so why that's downloading, we're gonna minimize this, let that download do its thing. We're gonna go to Launchpad, and if you go into Other uh, on your Launchpad, you'll see Disk Utilities. That's what we're gonna click on right there. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna reformat this. So it's untitled. Now, if you don't know, if the name's not coming up or it says some weird name, eject the disk and put it back in and it should disappear and then reappear and that way you know because you can get into a lot of trouble in here. You know, you don't want to touch your hard drive, you don't want to touch any um, other stuff in here. You don't want to mess any of these drives up, like these are my external drives, I don't want to mess them up, I don't want to mess up my hard drive, so make sure you know that that's the disk, because we're going to be erasing, and if you erase one of these drives, you, for me, that would be a lot of work gone, and for my computer, that would be probably a good day of me repairing everything. So make sure you know what it is, and mine is untitled. If it doesn't come up in the name, like I said, just look for it. Like I said, if it doesn't come up, unmount it and mount it back in. So let's uh, erase, and we're gonna go to uh, ext fat. But we're gonna change the name just to make sure we know it works. So I'm gonna put high. We'll erase it and give it a minute. It has erased it and turned it to high. So we're gonna hit done. And now what we're going to do from here is we're going to click on this and get information. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you will see the partition disk. And this right here is the name is is what uh, partition disk it is. So remember it's disk five. Okay, so for you it's going to be different. It's usually disk two, but for me because I have so many disks, it's disk five. So. We're going to close out of that. We're going to go up here. We're going to unmount the SD card. So now you see it disappeared. It doesn't show up. It's still there, but it's not there. So we're going to minimize this. Our download is complete. So we're going to go to our downloads files. We're going to open up our download files. We're going to click and drag this to the desktop. So this is the newest of Raspbian. So close out of that and we're gonna open up a text file and I'm gonna leave this text file in the description. Now, what I did for you really quick, really easy, is I put in red the, the things that you need to change. 
so this is the command that we're going to use so before we use this first we're going to unzip this because we need the actual image so we'll let that unzip okay so after we unzip that we're going to take this is what we want so we don't need this anymore let's get rid of that that's in the garbage okay and we're gonna copy this name with the extension so I'm gonna hit copy and where it says image your image we're gonna click on this and we're gonna paste the name of that file and there should be a space right there so the next thing we need we need is disk and if you remember I told you to remember the number of the disk and the disk if you don't remember when we when we looked at it was five now just because it's five for me doesn't mean it's five for you so make sure you write this down or you copy it onto your notepad as you're doing this this command is done and what we're going to do is I'm gonna go into my search which is the little hourglass in the right hand corner of the computer sorry I don't have it shown my desktops a mess and I'm trying to do this tutorial so we're gonna write terminal or it's also real quick right here in your uh, others same place that you got your disk utilities we open up terminal and we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this and we're gonna paste it into terminal alright so basically what this is doing real quick it's saying what the file name is and where it's located which I made it desktop that's user that's the username that's the desktop and then that's the image file and then we want it to go to that disk 5 so that's what this code is doing I just wanted to break it down for you so that way you know so once you put it into terminal, we're going to hit enter. It's going to ask for a password. You need the password of your computer. So whatever you logged into your computer, that would, that's what it would be. If you did not log into your computer, it should have a password. If not, um, you could try hitting enter. I'm going to put in my password. Big thing that I forgot to mention, this directory you need to know what it really is so okay so basically where I messed up here and I'm gonna show you guys this is you wanna put what your username is and this would be your username right there so we wanna make the username how it's spelled exactly so it's gonna be user whatever the name of your computer is desktop slash what the file name is and this should work now so I'm glad that's kinda happened because this is a code that I use on my Mac uh, my Mac laptop my MacBook so let's copy that paste it in there and now this should work and again it would normally ask you for your uh, password if you did it correct the first time why this is going on you're not it's not gonna give you any indication that it's doing anything what you need to do is just let it run it usually takes 5 to 20 minutes depending on the speed of your machine so it looks like that took a good 10 minutes to do it did it in and out and this is what you'll see once you're finished it'll say record in record out until you see this transfer file there is nothing you really can do until it's done and like I said it takes about 10 to 20 minutes okay and so that's that's the file right there we're gonna minimize that and now you should have the SD card which says boot and if we open up that file you should see the files for Raspbian so that's it right there that's all the files you need I'm actually gonna use this for a later on tutorial for you guys I am gonna set up a home bridge later on so that's basically it so you know basically you need to download the file format the disk put this into the format and then you're done I mean that's that's all you need to do and now you just take this out and you put it the little SD card into your Raspberry Pi and it should work up and running so you know just make sure you eject it properly drag it to the trash bin and now that's out so we're done here guys okay so that's how you set up your SD card for a Raspberry Pi now once you're done 
you pull it out of out of your computer and you slide that baby right into your new Raspberry Pi and you should see a screen start up. First you'll see depending on which Raspberry Pi the little raspberry is going across the top and then it'll load and then it'll go in there and then you can go through the process from my past videos that show you how to set up Wi-Fi, how to set up VNC, and how to set up SSH. If you need those videos, I'm gonna put them right here so that way you can view them and go through them. Okay guys, make sure you like and subscribe, share my videos, get them out there, help me, helps me out, keeps me going. And remember, you can do anything you put your mind to. Later guys! <laughs> I'm updating my computer. <laughs> That's great. You thought I was a picture, didn't you? Make sure you like and subscribe. Do me a favor already. <laughs>